Hello all, I am Sai and you are watching The Book Dragon. In today's video, I am bringing to you 5 books that you cannot put down once you start reading them. So without any further ado, let's get into today's video. The first book that I am recommending today is Angels and Demons by Dan Brown. Now in this book, we have a detective named Robert Langdon and uh, that's the series of books uh, which focus on Robert Langdon written by Dan Brown and all of them are thrillers. Now this is a crime thriller kind of a story and it takes place uh, mostly in Rome and the Vatican City. Now <clears throat> uh, there is this thing going in uh, CERN uh, with this accelerator kind of a thing and uh, there are terrorists uh, who are planning to uh, burst out the whole of Vatican City and uh, this is due to a lot of religious reasons. Uh, there is a lot of uh, Christianity uh, things that are explored within the story and also apart from that we get a lot of details throughout Vatican City as well as Rome uh, that are packed within this 600 page long book. Uh, it is a very huge book. The word count is so so high yet uh, once you start reading this book I am sure that you will not be able to put it down because uh, page after page there is something new in the story that the author has to present to you and it doesn't feel boring at all at any instant. Most of the things that he speaks about are uh, so interesting to listen to and so interesting to learn rather than just read and I should say uh, this was a great experience. I read this in the summer but if you read it in the winter it will be even more fun to read. The next book that I am recommending is The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. Now this is the debut book of Paula Hawkins and also her most famous work that is out there. Now in this story we have this woman. She has a drinking problem due to certain things that are going on in her life. She has lost her job. Uh, she is living in her friend's uh, apartment and uh, she also goes, uh, she also lies going to work and she just goes on the train to London and comes back to the house every day. And while she does so, uh, she has this habit of observing things that are going outside in the world through the window while traveling in the train. And in this particular case, she likes uh, seeing houses uh, past which the train travels. There is this particular house which she observes daily. This is because the train moves a bit slow in that uh, area alone and uh, she keeps uh, an eye out on this particular house and in that house there is this young couple who have been living and um, one day something different so peculiar and so horrible happens in that particular house in which she has an eye on every day. Due to her drinking problem she is not sure whether what she saw as the true one or something that has uh, been hallucinated by herself and that is what the that is the thing which draws uh, us to read the book even more i should say that this is a very short book yet uh, it has a lot of things put into it it has a lot of uh, things that are tied in and multiple elements of surprise uh, the climax is the best thing about this book and i love that one so much rather than the whole experience of the book if you want to read such a cliffhanging book or a book which will keep you turning the pages then you have to read The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. The next book that I am recommending today is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Stieg Larsson. Now this is the first book in the Millennium Trilogy by Stieg Larsson. In this book uh, we have different characters and those characters uh, stories are uh, followed in the second and third books as well. I have not read them but I have heard about them. This is one of my most favorite thriller books. This is a murder mystery kind of a thriller and in this book we have uh, this man whose name I don't remember now and uh, he, uh, his uh, daughter she has uh, died decades ago and after these many years he has a doubt whether she was killed or she died uh, due to suicide and she hires this journalist kind of a person in order to solve this mystery and along with, the, uh, along to, uh, along with this person who is the journalist kind of a person uh, he has this assistant or helper named Lisbeth Zalander, she's a hacker girl and uh, she's the girl with the dragon tattoo. She, uh, she forms a major piece of uh, finding the case and solving the murder mystery that's been going on and this doubt that has been hanging on the club for like many decades. It is so good, it is so well written, it is greatly researched, it is very atmospheric, it is such a page flipper, it is a huge book you can see. I'm saying that this is a huge book because there's a lot of uh, research and content that has been put into this book. It will take a bit of time to read but I'm sure that once you start reading this book you'll not be able to put this down either. This is one of the most favorite uh, thriller books of mine. The next book that I'm recommending to you is 
a middle grade book and it is Wonder by RJ Palacio. Now this book is about a little boy named uh, Augustus and the thing about Augustus is that his face is not normal as other people's faces so he is homeschooled. Uh, this is due to some genetic defects uh, during the time which he was born. It occurs in like uh, one in a million or one in five million people and he is victim of such a genetic defect hence it uh, manifests itself in his uh, body specifically in his face and uh, due to this as a child he undergoes multiple operations or surgeries and due to that his face becomes so different uh, it is it doesn't look like a normal human face uh, that's the main thing that has been represented well by the author in this book uh, the portrayal of such a physical difference and also the mental state of a person having such a different kind of body or different form of face and how they experience the world, how they see things around them, how people treat them. All these books are so, uh, all these uh, things are so well explained in the book. Uh, the best thing about this book apart, all, uh, apart from all of these is that it is a middle grade book. Normally these subjects are things which are so tricky to handle so that uh, it is not advisable for kids in any way but this is intentionally written, written for kids from the point of view of a kid itself that is the best thing of the book uh, there is nothing so thrilling about this book the main best thing that will keep you uh, wanting to read a, a every page after page in this book is the portrayal of the physical difference as well as uh, we uh, don't get the story from the point of view of Augustus who is the main character alone we get the story from different points of view such as uh, Augustus himself, his sister, his friends, his sister's friends and so many other such characters. It is so well written. It is such a masterpiece if you ask me and it is very good if you want to read a book in a day and also that book uh, will change your perspective of handling certain things in life. The last book which I am recommending today is a non-fiction book and it is unquestionably my most favorite non-fiction book of all the books that I have read. Uh, in a few days and it is How to Be a Boss by Lily Singh. Now this book is uh, uh, is written by Lily Singh who is the most famous YouTuber out there and um, she has changed her channel's name from Superwoman to Lily Singh itself uh, uh, two, uh, two or three months ago I don't remember properly. Uh, this book is a self-help book or uh, a guide to conquering life just as she uh, has said in the title of the book itself. Uh, if you want to uh, become a boss rather than a boss that is a boss is a person who can handle things uh, for people and who can keep people in control but according to this book a boss is a person who can uh, handle people who can be loved by people who can uh, make uh, things around them work well who can spread positive vibes uh, simply all the good traits that you can see in a person uh, can be seen in a boss uh, as said by Lily Singh and this is one of those books which you can keep keep uh, by your nightstand and you can read a small chunk every day and get very much inspired but I strongly think that uh, if you start reading this book you will not be able to put it down after reading a chapter or two because this is the essence of Lily Singh it's uh, like uh, seeing Lily Singh in a book rather than watching her in a video um, it is one of the best books that I've read and I'm recommending this as a page flipper because it is definitely a page flipper and I do think that everyone needs to read this book uh, who are in dire need of uh, motivation. I read this in such a time and it was very 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 much helpful for me. So I am recommending this today. Okay so those were all the 5 books that I recommended today and if you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it to your friends. If you want to get more content from me do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.